Hi guys, welcome back to the channel you guys. How's everybody doing today? Good, because we're back with another video you guys. You guys, this video is about potatoes. Yes, you guys, you see how big this potato is? Oh my goodness, this a big boy. This a big boy. And well, all of them is really big boys, okay? So what we're going to do today is we're going to make us some potatoes, you guys. Yes, we're going to make us some potatoes. And I'm just going to reach around here, you guys. And I'm just going to give me some paper towel. Yes, mega wipes, if you guys are familiar with it. Mega wipes. And I'm just going to dab these potatoes because I did give them a wash. And I cleaned them, right? So let's go ahead and get some of that up off and because I'm going to show you guys how to make you a cooked potato right in your oven at home. Quick and easy, you know. Guys, these potatoes are so delicious because you can transfer them into a meal, right? So what we have is we have us some potatoes. Like I said, you guys, um... I'm going to do two and then do that one aside. But first step is I'm going to put some olive oil on it because I want to make them crispy. I want that skin to be crispy, right? So now we want to rub that olive oil all over here. Yes. Now to me it doesn't matter what olive oil you use but you know the one for sauteing veggies is much better. Because, you know, this is a vegetable, I guess you could say, right? And we're just going to go on here. We're going to put that olive oil all over here. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Check that out. So, we're going to lift this up because this is just a temporary hole for my potato. This is the pan I'm actually going to use. So, I'm going to spray this pan right here with some olive oil. For sauteing, right? Because we don't have a liner, okay? We don't have a liner. So we want to make sure that once we do this, I'm going to take these gloves off for a moment. Because I want to put some slap your mama around on my potato skin. Now, many might use something else. Let me get one of these gloves because I don't want to really run through my gloves. But I need to get that seasoning in there, right? And we're going to just run that around just like that. You know, your, your glove and your oil is going to, you're going to feel where all the seasoning is at, right? So, what we have, like I say, is a little slap your mama. And I'm just seasoning that up. You could use pepper, salt, if that's what you would like. But we're going to put a little slap your mama on here, right? Now, my next step, I'm going to take this glove off again. And I'm done using them, too. i got to get another set. But, you know what? Let me put me another glove on. A two. I don't know about you guys but I hate operating with gloves and especially when I'm cooking at home but you know it's certain foods that I just like to have a glove on now most people take their potato and they want to poke it right with a fork that's not me you guys I'm sorry I like to go through it with a knife and I would suggest you be careful I like to go all around the potato and that way we can let it you know, the steam come on out of it, right? And we're just going to lay that potato right there. And we're going to poke this one. And you be careful because, like I say, you have to know what you're doing when it comes to poking these potatoes to let the steam out. I'm going to put that one like that. Now, let's reach over here and get this potato. And we're going to put us a little olive oil on it and we're going to repeat. Because these 
potatoes are going in our oven at 425 and I'm going to give it at least a half an hour and check on it because I want to make sure that we get all this season. I want to make sure that you guys I can't even get it out. I want to make sure that the potato cooked evenly and we're going to make these potatoes into alfredo potatoes. You know, normally we make our alfredos with alfredos and noodles. But your girl wanted something different, right? I wanted something different. And so, yeah. I decided to make alfredo noodles. I mean, not noodles, I'm sorry, potatoes. Because you don't see that too often, right? So we're gonna stick these on in the oven and we're gonna let these cook for approximately a half an hour to maybe an hour. You know, who knows? But I'll let you know the time. Okay guys, so our next step is we're gonna saute our um, chicken breast that I have over here. We're gonna saute it. I have cut it up in chunks, as you guys can see. Cut it up in chunks. And I'm just going to go ahead and season it up. Just going to go ahead and season it up with some uh, original no salt seasoning. And we're going to use us a little meat tenderizer. Just a little, you know, nothing to brag on. Like this meat tenderizer. It's going to have enough salt in it for me to not use table salt. I had to open it up, you guys. Because I was at the store. You know how you know you need something? So we have a little meat tenderizer right here, you guys. And I'm just going to put just a little on it. Because we really don't need a lot. And we're going to use a little slap your mama. Okay? Because you know that's what we season the potatoes up with, right? Slap your mama. And we also have a little Cajun style. Okay. That's enough seasoning, right? We got our little skillet. Excuse me, guys. Then cough over the food. But you know, you know how your voice get a little dry. Okay, so we just gonna go on here and we're gonna put that in here, and we're gonna let that start his way. Now, there's no particular way that you wanna do that. At least I don't. I don't do it in one particular way. I like to add it all in. And just let it cook down and then take it from there. Now the Alfredo we're using is a creamy ba basil Alfredo. Now I like this brand because it has the basil already in there. And it's just simple. You know now I can make my own Alfredo if I like. Yes I could tell you how to make it you know your own Alfredo with a little uh, heavy whipping cream and um the flour which you're gonna like you're gonna um whew, let me slow down you guys you're gonna take the the margarine or the butter that you're gonna use and you're gonna melt it down and then you're gonna put your flour and then you're gonna put your seasoning and then uh you're gonna you, you're gonna let it cook but not burn you know you guys you you want that I, I want to say milky look way, but anywho, if you want me to show you how to make your original Alfredo from scratch, I can. And you're going to use, some people use pesto, 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 or whatever. And you can also use basil. And you can create your own Alfredo. I didn't feel like going through the steps on that. 
because it's a lazy day for me. But I was in the mood for something different. I wanted some Alfredo, and I didn't want to bring it with the noodles. So I decided I'm going to bring it on top of a potato. What you guys think? And we're going to use this a little cheese. We're going to use white cheddar cheese in this. Oh, my goodness. I think that would be a really good flavor. It's the white cheddar cheese. You guys, I think that will work out real good. What you think? But anyway, we're going to use that. And we also have the regular cheddar, shop cheddar cheese. Well, we got the American. We got the American. But we got the shop cheddar as well, you guys. Because your girl is a cheese fanatic around here. I'm a cheese fanatic. And so, yeah, that's what we got here. So I don't know which way I'm going to go with it. But we're going to keep these two out. We're going to keep these two out. And we're going to see what we come up with on these baked potatoes. Okay, so guys, we have cooked our chicken breast down. And I'm just going to add this sauce right on over in it. Because there's no need to drain it. Put me a little water. Just a little water to shake up to get the remainder sauce out the jar, you guys. Because that's what we do around here. Is we make sure our pennies count. We make sure our pennies count around here, you guys. Let me turn on some light. Okay. And that go our sauce. And we just gonna go and let us do a thing, right? Because this is gonna be so good going over our uh, potato. And that's just a, a little occasion. Slap your mama. And we're going to put up some little paprika in there. Just a little. Okay. That's it. That's all I think I need. We're just going to let that go and do a thing. And we're going to use a little white cheddar. Use a little white cheddar. Just a little to thicken it up. Quicker. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy, you guys. Now, if you view me for the first time, thumbs it straight up. Subscribe to the channel. And yes, come join your girl. Over here, I will not give you any measurements, really, because I don't know how your taste buds is. And I'm just giving you an idea, um, you know, for dinner, a dinner idea. I'm just showing you an easy recipe um, that's going to taste simple and delicious. Over here, you may find me experimenting or taste testing. Just about any and everything, you guys. Just about any and everything. So we got us a little Parmesan. I guess I'm going to use that for my potato. You know. And, yeah, that's all we do over here. We just like to do homemade food. And some, you know, I have had them got in the comments and said, oh, that is hood. You hood cooking. Well, call it what you must, but don't call me late for dinner, okay? Because over here, I'm just an ordinary mom who enjoys feeding her family. And that's just the genesis of it. Did I say that right? But anywho, you guys, these recipes are so simple and easy. You know, I don't remember even growing up. Even having a stuffed potato 
or you know just a, a potato recipe in general other than smothered potatoes or something to that nature but that's what we're doing over here easy recipes you guys so don't forget to comment share like and subscribe to the channel if you're not part of the fan what are you waiting on okay guys so we're back and our potato is ready our potatoes is ready now I let them cook approximately in one hour because I have three of them and they just so big you guys look how tender that potato is now I want to do one potato for you guys one potato for you guys let me warm up my alfredo back there you guys because I had to turn it off because our potatoes was not quite done right but it's okay because we still have a cheesy alfredo sauce still popping hot still popping hot let's just sit it right here for right now and I am gonna show you how tender this potato is you hear that crispiness oh my goodness you guys that potato crispiness is something different okay oh my goodness you guys check this potato out oh yeah that's a tender potato right there you guys and I'm just gonna fluff it or as one would call it get it right down in there oh my goodness you guys look at that Oh. Now, at this point, you can add your salt, your pepper. Because uh, like I said, you guys, I'm not going to tell you how to or what to add in your potato. Because that's, that's optional. That's just me. That's just optional. But I am going to add me some margarine. Mm-hmm. And we're going to add me a little garlic. Now, I could use the powder, but I like the mint garlic itself. You know? I like the mint garlic itself. I'm just using up these silverware. But I don't want to put anything in my garlic, right? And I want to be able to put back. Oh my goodness, you guys. Now these, there's nothing like a garlic potato. You guys, there's nothing like a garlic potato. And we're just going to just get that right on in there just like that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, you can smell it. You guys, try this at home. Instead of using noodles, use a potato. You know, use a potato. You'd be surprised at the outcome. Now, actually, this is two servings, I would say. This will be about two servings. I want to add just a little more butter. Just a little more butter. <laughs> well, margarine. Because I can hear some of y'all. Now, oh, there ain't you no know, butter. That's margarine. So, that's what I'm going to say. So. Do yours. I'm just giving you an idea for dinner. Right? Okay, so now we're going to stop that right there, right? Because, you guys, we have to get us some of this good old Alfredo over in here. We got to get us some of that good old Alfredo over here. Now, now there go two spoons. I already messed up. I already messed up, you guys. So we're gonna lay us some cheese right here, right? Just some cheese, uh-huh, just like that. Cause this is my potato right here now. This is my potato and this potato is gonna last me more most likely all day. Let me see if I got some cheese in the refrigerator that's already open. That's American. Cause your girl, she don't like to open all kind of everything all at once, but we just gonna do it just like that. 
That's because that's not all the cheese we're going to use, right? But that's enough to hit the surface. That's enough to hit the surface. And we're just going to do it just like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Oh, you guys, you see? Oh, you see that? Oh, my goodness. Let's get some more of that chicken. Yes. That's all we need, right? And we're going to put up some Parmesan. Right? Let's get us some more white cheddar. We're going to do the white cheddar just because... I know I'm a cheesy type of girl. I know it. Okay. But you know, we, we need to hit it off, right? Just like that. Boom. Bam. Okay. And we're going to put up a little parsley. Oh, yes. Look at there, you guys. Look at that potato right there. I'm going to put you back over here because we don't want you to stand out. Because you know I hate a messy plate. And there we go. And that's our Alfredo potato, you guys. Now, it would look really, really good if you put some colorful bell peppers and everything in there. Uh, that would really look good. Now, we're going to do... The next potato is just a cheesy potato, you guys. You guys, we're going to do just a cheesy potato. You guys, let me sit this over here. Because we got to do carter potato, you guys. Let's do carter potato. Oh, my goodness. And we just going to, uh-oh. Did I crack that? Okay. Sound like I cracked it. And I might have. Oh. oh my goodness. Now I love these containers. Oh, you guys. Oh. Now you know I used to work for this company called Potato Company, right? Yeah, Potato Company, we used to do all kind of potatoes, y'all. We used to do the piece of potato. We did the uh uh what is it? Italian. Sausage potato. You name it, we had every potato. And this potato company still exists. Yes, it does. It still exists. Oh. And, baby. Now, I'm not going to put any garlic or nothing. I'm just going to make his a simple cheese. Cheese potato with the little Alfredo juice. You know, cheese sauce. Just a little Alfredo cheese sauce. And we're just going to go right on in there like that. Well, he's going to have a chunk or two of chicken. But, you know, he's not big on the chicken at all. So, we want the kid to eat it, right? We just want the kid to eat it. And that's going to be his. We're going to get him a mix of cheese. But that's going to be his potato. We're going to put him a little parsley on top. Just a little parsley. So, that may complete his, his, I was going to say his order, because that's definitely what it is, is his order, right? Because that's what he want with his potato. And what we're going to do is just close this up. Oh, this the wrong lid. Y'all be getting the wrong lids up, but I got them around here. Anywho, that's how we're going to do his potato. 
I'm just looking for a lid. Uh, okay. I don't know. But anywho, this is potato, you guys. We're going to stick his on in the microwave. And now we're going to do mom's potato. His mom potato. Just like that. Uh, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and do her a simple potato as well. Because I'm sure she don't want any too much cheese. So we're not going to put cheese on her. We're not going to do hers with the cheese and everything because I already know his mind. We just got to go ahead and do this like this. Now, we're going to top hers with a little chives. Because I already know my daughter. She's not for the mint. The garlic and all of that, she's not. And that's hers. So there you have it, you guys. So there you have it, you guys. We have three different types of potatoes. We have the chicken alfredo potato. Well, all of my chicken alfredo potatoes... Each one is made slightly different. You guys, it's a great way to enjoy you some chicken alfredo on a potato. And it's a, it's a little twist to the average meal of everyday cooking, you guys. So, yes, you can even eat the skin. It's so crispy and flavorful. So, yeah, share this video with any everyone. Let them know what your girl is doing on this channel. And, yes, if you always want something different... Just put your mindset to it because the best cook is a cook who is hands-on training, shall I say. So keep doing what you're doing and hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Come join your girl. My goal is 10000 and I'm trying to get there before my birthday, okay? My birthday February 17th. Don't tell nobody, though. But anywho, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it. And yeah, this will make my meal for today, you guys. And it's a great meal idea, you guys. And there's nothing wrong with a little homemade recipe right out your kitchen. Okay, there's nothing wrong with it. So until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.